chunk number nine introduces crescendos and decrescendos for the first time in this series. We want to start a crescendo from a piano dynamic and then crescendo all the way to a forte dynamic and then decrescendo back from forte to piano. To practice a crescendo, practice a gradual increase of your air from three to eight inches away from your face. It looks something like this. To practice a decrescendo, practice a gradual decrease of your airflow from eight inches to three inches away from your face, which looks like this. Remember, just because we are decrescendoing in our dynamic level does not mean that we want to diminish the support that our airstream is receiving. So always keep an engaged, supported airstream no matter the dynamic you are performing. Also, when crescendoing and decrescendoing, make sure that each note subsequently gets a little louder or a little softer. No boring notes. We want to have each note be a little louder or a little softer depending on if you're crescendoing or decrescendoing. No boring notes. Here is scale chunk number nine. 